Thanks. Today on our mountain bike journey, we have returned to DuPont State Forest. This time we are heading to Hilltop Trail. To get there, you have to go up Lake Imaging Trail or Lake Imaging Road. Uh, it's about a mile up on this trail. Um, so it has some steep sections to it, so it makes it a little difficult, um, at least for us. We were just a little out of shape. We hadn't ridden in a while, so going um, uphill for that period of time, it just, it got to us a little, especially hitting it right away. The sauce and the weasel, though, they did good. They were able to push up the hills um, as much as possible and only got off to walk when it, was, it just became too much. On this trail, there's numerous step-top hills like this that you just have to, that just keep coming, and it's very repetitive. You, you'll be flat, then you go up another little hill, steep hill, then it's flat, steep hills, just big steps as you're stepping up very quickly in in elevation. So you do that a couple of times, and you start getting, um, you start really getting tired. And my bike and Weasel's bike had a much bigger gear ratio than um, the Sauce's bike, so it was a lot harder for him. Here's a section here where we were able to go down a little, so um, we were able to get a little speed and um, a little break from going uphill for a short period of time. Yes. Well, how did he get up to the top? They drove. They cheated. Yep, well. The wife was walking and um, on. on trails nearby as going? she was looking at the different waterfalls in the area. She had relocated to the oh, higher up parking is. lot after being after we were dropped off at the Lake Imaging parking lot to go to the Triple Falls um, trails. Uh. So we were riding over there to meet up with her. Picture. Look at me, goobers. Since we're at the top, we decided to take a small break and take pictures, because why not? Now we're on Hilltop Trail and um, starting our descent. This is our first time on it, so we're not sure oh, what the trail good. looks like. It oh, rained yeah, all the day before, here. so it was wet. Rocks were slippery, roots were slippery. So we were having to deal with all of that, plus a trail that we hadn't been on before. We were there during peak leaf, peak leaf changing season, so um, it looked nice. Um, and it gave us something extra to look at while we were riding on our bikes. Easier here. It's nice right here with the leaves slowly falling to the ground as we ride through the forest. It was also quite cool that day, um, but with all our gear on, um, it didn't really bother us too much. Um, we were actually quite warm with the full face helmets on, the gloves, um, the the knee guards, elbow guards, all that kind of thing. It gives you extra layers basically. Build up some speed. Going downhill. Actually made it more comfortable to ride. Normally you'd be quite warm Try and all that. That one too. Go over it. Go, 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 go. I don't know why you keep stopping. <laughs> the sauce was worried about a number of features. He was off. just afraid to go over them, so he ended up walking over them instead. Let me find a place to stop. There we go. 
we're hoping to go back there again when it's a little warmer and drier and um, try it again and then we can loop it a few times and get some stand more up. practice on just the trail and Small. get up our speed that way just stand up when you do it see how much we're able to improve You're by doing it a few times slow, i think if they do it a few times they'll see what the trail is like and what to expect to and they'll start going over those features a lot better you can't go that slow keep going just for instance down. this one i mean keep he's going. gone over bigger There's things before and he was hesitant to just, just roll, roll on down roll don't have your foot down it may have just been because he wasn't sure what was at the bottom of the hill One thing I was trying to teach them is if they had to stop for a feature to get off the trail if they're not able to do it quickly and move on, um, that way they wouldn't be in the way of other riders when they came through. Yep. We pulled off here because there was a large group coming behind us and uh, we wanted to get out of their way so that they could um, move on at the speed that they wanted. You guys cannot stop on the trail like that. You got people that are coming through here quite quickly. And if you stop and just stare at it, if you don't know what to do, pull off. And here we are at the bottom of the hilltop trail. Not bad for their first time. We had originally planned to go to Bridalville Fall, um, but due to a change that happened, um, partway through our ride um, my wife called and let us know so we adjusted our path so here we are going back down um, Buck Forest Road to get back to the parking lot where we thought she had that she had moved to um, we thought she was still there so we're heading to the covered bridge At least we're able to go downhill, so we're not having to slog our way uphill. Here I am coming up to the covered bridge, so we're almost back at the parking lot. This is where I found that she had relocated the car back down to the Lake Imaging parking lot. At this point, it was going to be faster to continue forward to the um, original parking lot she was at and then go down the road. We checked when we got there and indeed the parking lot was completely full, no place to park. Um, with multiple cars coming in trying to find a spot, even though there was none. Um, this happens a lot at this small lot. So we decided the best way is just to hop on the road and quickly get to um, the next parking lot, which was just down the road. Almost hit the sauce here. Um, he hit his brakes for some reason. Um, he says he thought I heard him say, stop so we stopped. It's all downhill, makes it easy. But it's a flat surface. We didn't even have to pedal. We just kind of coasted down and um, I think we got around 26, 28 miles an hour by just coasting down the road. So it made it pretty easy to get to our next um, parking lot because um, it didn't take a lot of effort. We were just able to cruise on down the road. I think only two maybe three cars passed us so um, there wasn't a lot of traffic so um, we weren't really worried about that and I was trying to keep sauce to stay on the right side so that cars were able to pass a little easier but nobody really came up behind us and since we were moving at a pretty good speed we weren't really holding back traffic too much anyways if somebody were to come up behind us 
but we had fun um, and we enjoyed our ride that morning stay tuned um, next week for um, more videos to come um, we'll have the wintergreen falls video um, where we ride that one later on that evening as well as a review on 7 idp um, knee guards so stay tuned for those for the next couple of weeks thanks again for watching be sure to like and subscribe because we always appreciate our viewers have a great day everybody bye